Hi, FOM 10 students. This is an answer key for the Linear Functions Lesson 2 homework. It is on parallel and perpendicular lines. This is what the assignment looks like. Okay, let's try number one. The slopes of several line segments are given below. Okay, which line segments are parallel and show why? Okay, so parallel line segments have equal slopes. Okay, and 3 over 6 is equal to 1 over 2. And negative 0 0.5 as a fraction is negative a half. So, which line segments are parallel? Certainly JK and GH, because they both have slopes of 1 half. Uh, XY and CD are parallel because they both have slopes of negative one-half. Okay, and that's it. And you can see that in the answer key as well. And in part B, which line segments are perpendicular? Perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals. Okay, so they have opposite signs. One is positive, one is negative, and they are like the flip of each other, flipped fractions. Okay, so this 2 over 1, if you flip that to 1 over 2 and make it negative, these two slopes are negative reciprocals. So AB is perpendicular to CD. Okay, and the same deal would happen with negative one-half and the two over one. So AB is also perpendicular to XY. And then this negative two is sitting over a one. So negative two over one <coughs> is the negative reciprocal or opposite reciprocal to one over two. So that means that MN is perpendicular to GH. Okay, and we've got negative 2 over 1 and positive a half. That means MN is perpendicular to JK. Okay, and you'll see all of those in the answer key as well. All right, number two, line segment A is parallel to line segment B and perpendicular to line segment C. Use this information to complete the chart. Okay, so parallel slopes are equal. A and B are parallel. So that slope will equal A's. And C is perpendicular to these, so it has to be a negative reciprocal. Okay, so opposite sign or opposite reciprocal, opposite, opposite sign and flipped fraction. Okay, um, this one will be the same slope. Over here, we have to flip the seven, the one over seven to seven over one and change its sign to positive. Okay, so you could write it as seven over one or it would probably more commonly be written just as seven. Okay, the slope of B is negative 8, so is A. Negative 8 is sitting over a 1, so the flip of that is 1 over 8, and it's got to have the opposite sign, so it's positive. B, we have to change this to a fraction, rise over run. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, so this is 11 over 4. So slope of A is 11 over 4. And the perpendicular line has an opposite reciprocal slope. Okay, so if we've got negative 5 over 9 for this, B and A are perpendicular to C, so it would be opposite reciprocal of that. And that'll stay as 9 over 5. And with this one, 10 over 1, the opposite reciprocal is negative 1 tenth. If the slope of A is 0, the slope of B is 0 because they're parallel. And the reciprocal of that is 1 over 0 
which is undefined. And if you look at the answer keys, you will get all of those answers. And you see zero and undefined at the end there. All right, number three, two line segments that appear to be parallel are shown. They kind of look like they're parallel. Hey, they don't touch. They look like they're not going to cross. Calculate the slopes of the line segments and determine if they are parallel. So I'm going to do the slope. This is my notation. Slope of JK. And you have to do Y2 minus Y1. The Y2 is 5. The Y1 is right here so at negative 2. So 5 minus negative 2. X2 is at 3. And x1 is 0, so 3 minus 0. So we get, add the opposite, 7 over 3 as the slope for jk. And then we need to figure out the slope for lm. And I'm just going to erase this stuff here. I mean, we could do it this way and just write the points. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 1, 2, 3, so that's the point 5, 3, and the point here is 1, 2, 3, and negative 2, and then go y2 minus y1, 3 minus negative 2, divided by x2 minus x1, go we'll add the opposite, 5 over 2, those are different slopes, because those are in lowest terms, so these lines are not parallel. Okay, and you can see the answer key does these in decimals. And it says 2.3 and 2.5, because if you look at 7 over 3, that's approximately 2.3. Approximately. And 5 over 2, of course, is 2.5. Okay, so that's what the answer key has there for you. <coughs> Number 4. Two line segments that appear to be perpendicular are shown. Calculate the slopes of the line segments and determine if they are perpendicular. So we'll find the slope of AB first. And this point here is, let's see, it's all the way out there to 8. So one each square is worth 1, it looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 2. And this A point is negative 2, negative 2. So we would go y2, ah, y2 minus <coughs> y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, so 4 minus negative 2 add opposite, we get 4, add opposite, 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds. Okay, now we need to do the slope of CD. And the point C here is 1, 2, 3 to the right and 2 down. And D is negative 1, comma, 4. So we can go y2 minus y1, 4 minus negative 2 divided by x2 minus x1, negative 1 minus 3, add the opposite, 6 over negative 4, which is, in lowest terms, negative 3 over 2. Hey, those are opposite reciprocals. Therefore, yes, those lines are perpendicular. Yes, perpendicular. And perp perpendicular just means that they meet at a 90 degree angle. All right, number five says, determine the slope of each line segment with endpoints given below. 
identify which line segments are parallel and which are perpendicular. Okay, so the slope of AB is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We get negative 3 over 5, which is 3 over 5. In part 2 here, the slope of CD is y2 minus y1, 2 minus negative 1 half divided by x2 minus x1, 1 minus 6, and we end up getting add the opposite, so 3 over negative 5, which is negative 3 fifths. The slope of EF is y2 minus y1, negative 6 minus negative 8, over x2 minus x1, and change them to add the opposite. So we will end up getting 2 over 3. And the slope here of GH, you go y2 minus y1, negative 2 minus 3, x2 minus x1, negative 1 minus negative 4. Change the bottom here to add the opposite. Negative 2 take away 3 more is negative 5. Negative 1 plus positive 4 takes us up to 3, so negative 5 thirds. And the slope of JK is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we get negative 2 over negative 3, which is 2 thirds. Okay. And then it wants us to identify which line segments are parallel and which are perpendicular. So when you have equal slopes, you have parallel. So you can see that we've got two-thirds and two-thirds. So EF is parallel to this JK one. Okay, so that symbol with the two lines there means parallel. Do we have any other slopes that are equal? That's looking like it. Okay, so this is parallel. Okay, and perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite and reciprocal. So opposite signs and reciprocal, like 3 over 5 and negative 5 over 3. So AB is perpendicular to GH. Do we have any others? No, nope, that's it. Okay, and you can see that in the answer key as well. All right, number six, determine the value of the variable that satisfies each condition. The slopes of parallel line segments are 3 over 5 and K over 10. Parallel line segments have equal slopes, so we just set those equal to each other and solve for k. Cross multiply, 30 equals 5k, divide both sides by 5, 30 divided by 5 is 6, k equals 6. You can see that in the answer key. The slopes of perpendicular line segments are 1 third and k over 2. Okay, so that means that k over 2 has to be the negative reciprocal, or opposite reciprocal of that, which is negative 3 over 1. And now we can solve, and you get k equals 1 times k is k, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. That looks good. Number 7 says to help her map out an arrangement for a flower bed for her front yard, Verna used a coordinate grid. The corners of the flower bed were represented by the coordinates 0, 8, which is right here. I'm going to call that a. 4, 9, which is here. C is 6, 1. And D is 2, 0. Plot the points on a coordinate grid and connect them with line segments. Okay.
calculate the slopes of all four line segments, A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A. Oops. Okay, so sorry, B is here, A, B, and then we're supposed to do B, C, which is here, and then C, D, and then D, A. Okay, so the slope of A, B, oops. so if we're using points A and B, I am going to go Y2, oops, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. We get negative 1 over negative 4, which is 1 fourth. There's the slope of AB. The slope of BC is... So now I'm using the points B and C. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. 8 over negative 2, which is negative 4. Okay, so there's A, B, B, C, and then we will do the slope of C, D, and I'm going to go Y2 minus Y1, 1 minus 0 over X2 minus X1, 6 minus 2 and we get 1 over 4. And finally, the slope of dA Okay, and for dA, we would go y2 minus y1, 8 minus 0 over x2 minus x1, 0 minus 2, and we get 8 over negative 2, so the slope of negative 4. Okay, so you can see that AB is parallel to CD, and BC is parallel to DA. Okay, so AB is parallel to CD, and BC is parallel to DA. So we show it like that. And notice that 1 over 4 and negative 4 over 1, those are negative reciprocals. So AB is perpendicular to BC. AB is perpendicular to BC. And then we could look at BC and CD. So BC and CD, those are opposite reciprocals. So BC is perpendicular to CD. And then we would look at line segments CD and DA. CD is this one, DA is negative 4, those are opposite reciprocals. CD is perpendicular to DA. Okay, and then you would see the same thing with um, DA and AB. AB, the slope is 1 fourth, DA, opposite reciprocal. So AB is perpendicular to DA. All right, and then there's a special name for this type of figure. When you've got 90 degree angles on all of the corners and then you've got two pairs of parallel sides, what shape is Verna's flower bed? That is a rectangle. Okay, it's a rectangle because the angles are 90 degrees and the sides are equal and parallel. <coughs> All right, and finally, number eight, a farmer's field is to be fenced in. The corners of the field are 
at those points, which of the following is true about the line segments? Okay. If we did a quick diagram of this, We've got negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is point A. And we've got negative 1 and negative 2. There's point B. 1, 2, 3. And negative 1, that is point C. And then 4 and 5. is point D. Okay. Alright guys, so at quick glance, it looks like the best we might get here is maybe that AD is parallel to CD. Or sorry, uh, AD is parallel to BC. So we'd actually have to find the slope of all four of these segments. The slope of AD is 5 minus 4 over 4 minus negative 1. So we end up getting 1 over 5. So there's the slope of AD. How about the slope of CD? I would go negative 1 minus 5 over 3 minus 4, so I get negative 6 over negative 1, which is 6. How about the slope? Oh, no. How about the slope of BC? down at the bottom there. So using the points B and C, I would go Y2 minus Y1 over X2. Minus X1. You get negative one on the bottom and negative four, sorry, negative one on the top, negative four on the bottom. And then finally, the slope of AB, which is 4 minus negative 2 divided by negative 1 minus negative 1. And we end up getting 6 over 0, which is undefined. So are any of these slopes equal? Okay, so none of them are equal and none of them are negative reciprocals. So it's saying we've got perpendicular, perpendicular, parallel, parallel. That only happens if you've got equal slopes or negative reciprocals. So the answer to this is D. None of the statements are true. Okay. So there you go, guys. There's the answer key for the Lesson 2 homework. I will talk to you again soon.